Come in. You wanted to see me, Skip? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, why don't you take a seat, Jimmy? Let me start by saying that even though it's only April 1st, you played really good ball so far. And that fact just makes having this conversation just that much harder. I'm being sent down, aren't I? What? No, no. No, no, no. Nothing like that. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We actually traded you to the Karachi Monarchs of the Baseball United League. What? <laughs> yeah, you get to go to Dubai. Don't have to worry about cold weather there. I have always wanted to see the Middle East. I just hope you guys got a great return for me just to make the team better. Because what else can you ask for? Yeah, I think we got exactly what we needed. Yeah, I know it's not ideal and it's a big change, but we wanna help you make the transition as best we can. Do you have any questions for our GM? Jesus, how long have you been there? Hey. So. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I love April Fools. Wait. So I'm not going to Dubai? Of course not, man. You're one of our most productive players. Oh, thank God. You had me. We do unfortunately have to send you down. Your bags are packed, ready to go. So, well. Your flight leaves in an hour. Welcome back to the Trevor May Baseball Channel, and this is Baseball, 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 Baseball. Is that five? Oh, man, I did five so fast that time. Today, we're going to be talking about the Oakland A's again. I know. We're tired of talking about the Oakland A's, but so many things have happened in the last few days that I think are indicative of a lot of other things that might happen in the MLB in the next couple of years that I think it's important to talk about it. And I have a little bit of experience with this team. But before we get into that, please make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned to the end of the video so you know what baked good to write in the comments because it's at the end, not in the middle. We're gonna try something new today. I'm stealing this idea from another YouTuber, and now that I have a green screen, I wanna try it out. Because these videos are supposed to be a little bit more topical and current event oriented, I wanted to use the green screen a little bit more, so we're gonna enter the void. I'm in the void. Sorry, but it just felt right. So this is what happened. The Oakland A's have officially announced that from 2025 to 2027, they will be playing baseball in Sutter Home Field Stadium Field in Sacramento. Now, Sacramento is like an hour and 15 minutes north. It is currently the AAA affiliate of the Giants. Interesting. And the team will be playing there for three years while they wait for their mythical stadium in Las Vegas to be built, if that's even going to happen. We still don't know that for sure. Now, actually, there is one positive to this announcement, and that is a little bit of relief to the people who work for the team, who play for the team. Now they know what's gonna happen in the next three years. This whole uncertainty thing is already everywhere in baseball. It's kind of nice to know that, hey, at least we're gonna be in the general area, we'll be an hour away. Also, I'm fairly certain that the TV situation might be pretty easy to change. The same network can carry the games, I believe. I believe the area is still considered part of the Bay which is good for people who want to continue to watch the team, even if they're not in Oakland. Well, that's where the positive spin probably ends. Unfortunately, it's a minor league stadium. I uh, played there last year for one game. It's not great from a visiting player standpoint, and I'm assuming it's probably not the best from a home standpoint. The locker rooms are small. They don't have a lot of amenities. You felt like you're on top of each other. You know, I'm a big guy. I was in everyone's way all the time. That's already a problem when there's space. They're gonna have to make some big changes. Now, what kind of changes do I think they're gonna have to make? You have to do updates. You have to get the stadium to a level. I don't know what those levels are, but there's gonna have to be something done. And it, if I had to guess, John Fisher will do whatever slightly below the bare minimum will be. Um, that seems to be his MO. Along with this, it has been mentioned by team president Gabe Cavill <laughs> that the team would like to increase its payroll. It was cited in a recent news article that he mentioned wanting to be in the top half, possibly the top third of payroll in order to win over Vegas area fans. And it's pretty clear by those comments that this tanking is very purposeful. And purposeful tanking is supposed to be something you get in trouble for. 
interesting. You're going to get the payroll up to middle of the league, maybe even top third of the league. You're going to do that when everyone's in Sacramento because no one's going to sign here that has any other offers anywhere else unless you beat another deal. You don't have the ability to do that, or so you say. So that plan probably isn't going to come into play until at least 2028. If you hold your breath waiting for this to happen, you're not going to be alive for very long. Now that we've talked about relocation, now it's time to talk about wristband gate. Anyone who isn't aware, there is a hashtag on Twitter, hashtag wristband gate. Wristband gate is the idea that because Asturi Ruiz, who was sent down recently, and Brent Rooker hasn't been playing very much. They are being punished for wearing a wristband for the, from the last dive bar. A fan group they put on uh, the Fan Fest this last February. Reducing someone's playing time because they're wearing a wristband or supporting uh, your fans. I don't know how much veracity there is to that claim. What I think is far more likely is a concept that I recently read about called the bureaucratic other. If you're unfamiliar with this concept, it is basically the idea that when decisions are made and someone is informing someone else of that decision that's gonna affect them, when they are asked, oh, who made that decision or where did this come from? The person in charge in that moment can just point kind of somewhere, some confusing other person to take the heat off of themselves. It's very common. Anyone who's worked a corporate job knows this. The point of this is to try to get people who are disgruntled to just kind of accept whatever this not so great news is. Hey everyone, thank you so much for making time for this all hands, very important meeting. I know you're probably at dinner and out and about, but this could not wait till tomorrow. Effective immediately, we need everyone to reduce the amount of time they're spending on their lunch break from 18 minutes to 14 minutes. Unfortunately, profits were down last quarter, and we obviously need to make sure that we're growing quarter after quarter indefinitely forever. How is that even possible? What were the profits last quarter? Don't worry so much about that. It's kind of above our pay grade. Just know that the bosses really want to make sure we are functioning with synergy and efficiency and really optimize for the output of the company. I think we're all on the same page here and really just want the same things. What if we need to pick up our kids or go to a doctor's appointment or something? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, that's actually probably a great question for a... Could you say that name again? Well, that's all I had for you guys. Just make sure you make that adjustment starting tomorrow. All right, I'll see y'all at 6 a.m. See ya. I hate this job. So Ruiz gets sent down. He's wearing the wristband. Rooker's been wearing the wristband. But are they being punished? I don't think it's that deep. I genuinely don't think it's that deep. I don't think John Fisher is directing this. I don't think John Fisher can name three players on his team. I genuinely believe that. What I do believe is that as a baseball move, this fits kind of in the model that the A's tend to run with. This is even before I joined the team. This has been for years and years and years, so it makes a lot of sense. And that is the idea of platooning. Now, if you don't know what a platoon is, it basically means you have two guys that play the same position or the same positions, and one usually bats right-handed and one usually bats left. So that way you can get looks from both sides of the plate from different positions. They have historically filled up the roster with guys who are utility type players. You can play three or more positions, and then you can platoon in a bunch of different ways, depending on your needs and the matchups with the pitcher. Now, unfortunately, when your team is supposed to be rebuilding, platooning doesn't work that great in my opinion, because firstly, Young guys struggle to learn to platoon, meaning being ready to play, come in and pinch hit when you're not playing, but then play, you know, every other day, play four days a week. You've been playing every single day for your career. It's so hard to go in and out like that. It really is. It's something that you have to learn. It's a special type of skill. Now, when you only play four days a week and you want to be an everyday player, the pressure to perform in those four days goes up. So yeah, there's pressure all the time, but when you feel like you can never make a mistake and you're 22 years old, you tend to make more mistakes, which then produces results that aren't so good on the field, which then changes the thoughts from the fans and from the organization on how good you are or not. You're not producing. There has to be this area of development, and sometimes you have to go get your face beat in for months in order to figure it out. You have to stick with the plan, but if you platoon everybody, nobody gets better, which is what I think is happening at times here. If you pay attention, you're going to notice a lot of substitutions late in games are in this spirit. It's just a platoon situation or something close to that, trying to get a lot of different looks on a lot of different guys playing, but that only goes so far in my opinion. So it's not that deep, or is it?
Our last thing that happened was this memo that was found on the ground. It was given to someone who works there to remind them of some of the initiatives that the staff working at the field have been told from who? Above. Now everything on here, another isn't nefarious, right? We have engage with customers. That's good. I like that. Direct them online if we do have what don't have what they're looking for. Great advice. All of this is normal, except if you see anything that says rooted in Oakland, it must be taken down immediately. Now there has been obviously a concerted effort to get rid of that branding because duh, the fact that it was up last year was pretty crazy to me. But people found this, the fans are taking it as a direct slight, like everyone's being directed to do this because of course they are. I love the item of the game. I kind of want one of those denim jackets because they're not gonna last for much longer. So if anyone has a denim jacket, your boy wears an XL, thank you. I think there's a lot of like eye rolling laughing about this, but the thing about Rooted in Oakland going down leads me to believe that we're trying to avoid any negative press at all, anything that could be memed on. That makes me think the wristbands might be in play a little bit more than I immediately thought, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's interesting, but I just don't think that the powers that be are paying enough attention, but maybe they are. Maybe Dave Cavill's watching every game. Maybe Dave Cavill's the one keeping a little notebook and, and paying, seeing these things from these guys and doing the direction. That's entirely possible. But I want to know what you think, really. I, I want to know what you think is going to happen moving forward. You know, Ace fans, I, I want to hear your your thoughts in the comments, guys. I, I do feel, I feel for you. I, I just wish this is something you didn't have to worry about and you could just watch baseball and enjoy yourself. And I know that every single time one of those games comes on, it like hurts. It sucks so much. And I wish this wasn't happening to you. And you deserve better. Today's baked good is sour cream donuts. One of my favorites. I freaking love them and hey if you can just mix up like a nice little lemon glaze and throw it on that bad boy oh yeah i appreciate you thank you for watching the video and i will see you next time on the trevor may baseball chanel deuces